John Cena's freestyle ability has always been a phenomenon because he is naturally pretty great at rapping and is not known to really have any prior experience. It has brought the WWE audience some great rap battles throughout the years and I'm gonna rank every single one of them in this video today. Now this isn't some super analysis of rapping ability. I'll be ranking the rap battles based on how hard the lines in each rap are, how funny the rap battle was, and also was the rap battle memorable or not. When I think of John Cena rapping, a few segments come to mind, like the Royal Rumble freestyle and the Rock Roast, but these segments will not be in this video. Keep in mind because these aren't rap battles. This video is only ranking actual rap battles. At number 10, Michael Strahan. This first rap battle actually took place outside of the ring. It took place on Michael Strahan's talk show. And honestly, John Cena proved that he could rap on here. That's pretty much all that happened though. Nothing really memorable happened. Nothing really funny happened. And the bars were cool from John Cena. But honestly, there's not much to talk about on this one. So it's number 10. It gets the last place. And let's just move on to number 9. At number 9, Brian Kendrick. There honestly wasn't any notable bars in this one. But the Brian Kendrick came out dressed as John Cena and had a rap for him. They had a little bit of back and forth talk until Brian Kendrick told the ref to make a beat. The referee listened and honestly made probably one of the best beats a person would have made in that situation. The highlight of this was the referee making beats and noises to make fun of John Cena. But the segment ended up in a brawl. Even though it ranks low on the list, it was still a pretty overall entertaining segment. And it was pretty memorable. So hats off to him. At number 7, Kenzo Suzuki. Kenzo was mainly playing an anti-American role in this rap battle. John Cena delivered a very memorable line. So around this time, Kenzo had a manager and she was this little Asian lady that had white makeup on her face. John Cena said, I don't do makeup, but I can help you with that white on your face. Kenzo and his manager were so confused. At the end of the segment, John Cena brought out three girls, three divas to be exact, and Kenzo actually started flirting with him and John Cena started hyping him up. He started helping him out. It somehow turned from John Cena and Kenzo Suzuki having a rap battle to John Cena helping Kenzo Suzuki get grilled. And then out of nowhere, they just started bawling. They just started fighting out of nowhere to end the segment. This segment was very 4th of July-ish. Uh, Kenzo Suzuki was wearing a 4th of July outfit for some reason. This might have happened on 4th of July. Number 7, CM Punk. Now this one, I didn't even know it ever happened until I started researching. But apparently, after Raw went to commercial one time, next to CM Punk and Purple Shirt John Cena had a rap battle. CM Punk started off by saying, John Cena, you used to do this all the time. You walk out here and bust a rhyme. But it's 2011, no matter what you do or say, no one wants to hear it here in Green Bay. John Cena replied, it's been a while, you know where you at homie? You kid, you said my night, I'll eat you for breakfast like my man Reggie White. You'll be bombing and weaving just like you was a Dodger. I'm sitting winning championships like my man Aaron Rodgers. This is actually pretty cool that this happened in 2011. I had no clue and this is my first time watching this. So researching this video really did teach me this. At number six, fan in crowd. If you're a wrestling fan and have gone on YouTube, this has been in your recommended for years. No matter how many times you watch it. I literally remember seeing this in second grade. It starts off by John Cena entering a WWE arena when a fan in confronts him in a crowd. This was the fans verse. Cena, your stuff is whack. You're just a white boy who thinks he's black. You ain't the real deal. You should take yourself down to a shelter and get yourself a free meal. And what's the deal with this word life? You're just a poor white boy with no wife. Aw, Cena, don't cry and pout. Looks like Kurt Angle's gonna make you tap out. Cena proceeded to absolutely wreck this kid by telling him that his bars were trash and that Cena ran the city. At number 5, Rikishi. In this rap, Taz was a host and Taz and John Cena were hostile to each other. Rikishi dropped a bar about how he got shot twice in a drive-by shooting and almost died. John Cena actually had a partner during this time, B Squared. Rikishi compared John Cena to famous white rappers like Vanilla Ice and Eminem, which John Cena back then and kinda in the mid 2010s was still getting comparisons to him. Some of Rikishi's bars were, look dog. You stand there wanting to be all nice, but everybody knows you're worse than Vanilla Ice. See, we old school thugs, and this game ain't new to me, boy. I ain't scared of no Eminem wannabe. Oddly enough, I feel like John Cena wasn't winning these rap battles most of the time. Like, half the time he was a butt of the joke, or he was doing pretty good, but they just had the funnier roast, which goes to show how John Cena really was making the most out of the opportunities he was given back in the day. 
At number four, Big Show. Okay, now this is where the rap battle started to get funny, very entertaining, very memorable. Let's start off with Big Show's verse. I done punked you all over town. What you gonna do about it, bitch? I'm 500 pounds. He then went on to say, look at you, looking at me. You ain't nothing. I'm a giant. In my world, you the white girl, and I'm Kobe Bryant. John Cena replied with, would you repeat that last line again? I didn't really get that. I just heard you heavy breathing, choking on your neck fat. You should hit them sit-ups too. You're not exactly the leanest. Forget seeing me, bro. You don't see your own penis. Big Show selling when John Cena was roasting him really made this rap battle. It's so funny. At number three, Kurt Angle, the second rap battle. First, John Cena's verse. You won a battle, I refuse to get ripped. You little bit. You would have wrap a Christmas gift. You're not all American, Kurt. You wore out the gimmick. You wouldn't win a bronze medal in the other Olympics. I'm the dirty America. Look in my eyes. I'm right here. You're the American dream. I'm America's nightmare. He's just a punk pissing off more people than prank calls. Hope you have your three eyes, Kurt, because you ain't got no balls. When they were heading out brains, it's obvious you didn't get none. I'm usually throwing up two fingers, but you special. You only get one. So hit this cat's music. So they will say that he sucks too. This finger doesn't mean you're number one, Kurt. It means I'm saying Kurt Angle interrupted. Kurt gave John Cena props and was telling him that besides that last line, his rap was pretty good. Kurt Angle decided not to rap. He decided to tell a story. Here's how it went. There once was a kid who likes to talk a lot of smack. He's actually whiter than me, but he thinks he's black. The crowd went wild for this, and honestly, Kurt after this just started threatening John Cena, and it ended up in a brawl. So this was pretty much it main highlight of the rap battle for Kurt and honestly it was very entertaining that's why it ranks third on this list at number two Kurt Angle the first rap battle Kurt Angle was out in the ring setting up a match for Brock Lesnar and Big Show John Cena's music hit and interrupted Kurt Angle here's what John Cena said to Kurt you wouldn't find two lines to rhyme if your name had low jack how am I gonna get out battle by a wannabe Kojak Kurt Angle replied with okay I don't even know what you just said and the crowd went Wow, Kurt Angle started rapping. This is his verse. My name is Kurt Angle, and what the heck? I want a gold medal with a broken freaking neck. You better step off, cause we ain't friends. I'm moving on up like the Jeffersons. Honestly, the crowd went wild for this. It was very funny. So if you guys haven't seen it, Data B actually recently just uploaded it. So go watch it. It's well worth your time. It almost got number one on the list, but there's still one more. At number one, John Cena rap battles a fan at Jersey All Pros Wrestling's sixth anniversary show. Okay, before this, I've never even seen this. I've never even heard of it. But the thumbnail on this on YouTube is John Cena wearing a jersey and a hat in a pretty low quality at a convention. This rap battle took place outside of the ring against what appears to be a teenager. This is number one because it shows John Cena's great rapping ability as he rapped for around half of the video. And this video on YouTube is 8 minutes long. Along with the other kid who is very talented in freestyling. As he said some wild bars. They literally go on for the whole video. So I'm only going to recite some of the parts of the verses. But here's some of John Cena's verse. Roll 7-Eleven. Mother Mike is redding. Because I be busting your face. I come straight out. Yo, kicking the bass. Kicking your face with my freaking brand new Reeboks. You wouldn't shoot me if you was packing three Glocks. That's right, what you gonna do, fight? The kid replied by saying, I don't want no guns, I'll hit you with my fist. You're a f***ing bit. How the f*** you gonna count him out, man? He's still back in it. He might be talking to him, but he not sure, but he sure not finished. I don't care about your dozen eggs, I eat them for breakfast. Who besides John Cena has a lock for a necklace? He's never seen that before the 80s. He sees him with all these guys, but where the f*** are the ladies? I'm a, that's just a little bit of what the verses actually were this video went on for eight minutes and they're pretty much going back and forth the whole time so if you guys do want to watch it i'm gonna leave a link for it in the description below i suggest you guys do watch it because it is a very great rap battle especially if you like seeing john cena in a non-pg way this is a whole different john cena but as for me i hope you guys enjoyed this ranking video it was a very fun video to make i feel like i learned a lot about john cena's rapping history and the biggest takeaway I got is how John Cena made the most out of his opportunities in the WWE at a very early start as he was like put even below the mid card and taken as a joke and he made the most out of it.
and rise to the main event. Like the video, subscribe, do whatever you guys feel like doing. And I'm going to put out some more content. A lot more is coming. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys watching.